we have to continue question number 5 that is obtain the product of fourth one yes so let me write the question here we have to find the product of this number children okay so first and foremost we are going to put the multiplication sign a into 2b into 3c into 6a b c yes now first we are going to multiply all the constants constants nothing is here means 1 1 2s are 2 2 3s are 6 6 6s six are 36 so this is 36 then we have to see whether a is common anyway any uh, variable is common so a is here and a is here so we are going to add the powers of a so 1 plus 1 both the places nothing is written to the power nothing is written means it's a 1 then we go to the next variable b we compare anywhere b is there yes b is here so again the powers of b will be added again 1 plus 1 then we go to the next variable that is c again the powers will be added so now we are going to write 36 a square b square and c square this completes the fourth part now we are going to start the fifth one so let me write the fifth question children the fifth one is Once again, putting the multiplication sign in between. There is a negative sign, so we put it in the bracket. Okay. Now we are going to multiply. First we are going to multiply all the constants. Then we are going to multiply all the variables. So let's start. First and foremost. You can see, nothing is there means 1, minus 1 and 1. So, 1 into minus 1 into 1. 1, 1, 1, 1. Yes, but there is a minus sign, so it is a minus 1. Okay, then into 1. This one we put it down. Then 1, 1, 1, 1. Minus into plus is minus. So, actually answer is what minus 1. The multiplication of all the constants. Correct? So, negative sign. Okay, now we are going to, now if you want to can write a line also, no problem. Then we multiply all the variables. You can see here variables are common. Yes, variable M is common in three places. So 1, M we are going to write and the parts we are going to add that is 1, 1 and 1. So 1 plus 1 plus 1. Then we go to the next number that is N. It is also common in two places. So we are going to add the parts. And then only B is there. Leave it. Now, we all know that we don't write 1. Yes? If the variable is written alone also, we can understand that the value of the constant is 1. So, minus M Q N square P. Okay? So, this is the answer for the fifth question. Okay? This completes the exercise also, children. Now, we are going to Go ahead. Okay. We are going to start the next topic in the chapter. So we were doing multiplication. Yes, we were doing multiplication, right? So how do we multiply? Very simple. We multiply like this. 3 fours are, which gives us 12. Okay. Now suppose if the 4, if this 4 is written in place of this 4, some other number is written. Like for example, 3 into, uh, we can say uh, in place of this term, something like this is written. Then how do we multiply? We multiply this 3, 2, this 2, <coughs> then this 3, 2, this 4. How? 3 multiplies to 2. Plus, this is the distributive property of multiplication over addition. 
Three terms. Let me say polynomial with three 
Right, go ahead. We 
need to check whether the variables are common. Are the variables common? No. P, Q. So we simply write P, Q. Then plus sign again for one of four. And P, R. We are not adding the parts. Why are we not adding the parts? Because the variables, they are not same. Or you can say they are not common. So the answer is 4 P, Q plus 4 P, R. This completes the first one children. Now we are going to do the second one. Question number three, children. Now we are going to do question. 
start with the fifth one, children.